BB18 Interactive Smart Board Interface. Here are the main applications File Management, OPS, Computer, Whiteboard, Cast Screen App, and Application Management. On both sides of the screen, there are hide toolbars. Click it. You will see the toolbar icons. First one is back to return your last operation, second home. The next is setting, network and Wi-Fi setting, general setting, wallpapers, box, auto turn off setting, volume and uh, brightness, theme like user interface set, advanced setting, printer, input signal, HDMI set, assistant inferring box, time date language, Power and sleep model standby time setting. Security info and uh, Android configuration 4 GB and uh, 32 GB. Next icon is the file management. You can manage your different files. It's divided by whiteboard, picture, PDF, video, music. If you want to install your own APK, here is the root. Next icon is the input signal management, HDMI, VGA, OPS, and so on. And the following is the quick design of most used functions. Internet, hot port, Wi-Fi, screenshot, settings. Quick setting of brightness and uh, volume. Quick enter into whiteboard app. The last icon is for power setting, power on off, and OBS power se setting. This is DV18 Interactive Front Panel of DST Company. You can use stylus or fingers to write on the screen. This demo jumper is used a 85 inch smart board. DV18 front screen supports up to 20 point touch. You can set single point writing or multi point writing models in the interface. In multi point writing, it supports up to 10 points touch by fingers and stylus. You can change thickness and the color of the pen. Or you can quick change the background color of the whiteboard. If you want to use eraser function, click icon. It can erase the contents. Or you can use gesture eraser with the palm or handbag size. You can also create pages if you have many annotations. Teachers can install the shapes quickly. Or change color of it or two-point drag and zoom the shapes. After finished, you can save the whiteboard annotations as PDF, image files in local storage or U-disk. Or you can directly send it to your email, but you should first preset the network. This is the smart board and joint system interface. You can change to Windows system. Click the OPS application icon. Now you are in Windows system. Please make sure OPS computer is plugged in. Now the big touch screen turns into a Windows PC just the same as you use in work. You can operate the big Windows system by touching on it. If you want to return, click the return menu icon to back. 
If you click the second icon of Home, it will switch from OBS computer to Android. Next is the application management. Before the touch panel is delivered to all customer, many apps are pre-installed, like Chrome, Google Play, and other necessary apps. You can download what you like from the Play Store. File management function allows you to manage all file types on the smart board. The whiteboard annotations and pictures are saved in this routine. Besides, the files are categorized by picture, PDF, video, and music. You can easily sort out all different file types. Floating menu functions is a quick access to most used functions. Back to home and the task management. Annotation function. Save the annotation picture. Or after you saved, you can check the files just like you operate in the annotation function. Next function is the OPS Quick Access. Click it to enter into the OPS computer. This is a video we just opened before we play. Next function is the digital whiteboard function. You can write, and these are the floating main menu. And uh, this floating menu, you can drive it anywhere as you like, or use five fingers gesture, long place on touch screen, no matter in Windows system or Android system.